In stoichiometry, the first thing we have to do is seeing if the following equation is balanced. As you can tell, it is. So next we need to read the problem. How many grams of sodium sulfate will be formed if you start with 200 grams of sodium hydroxide? So as you can see, I've drawn an arrow from sodium hydroxide which is what we are given, to sodium sulfate, which is what we want to find. The next step is setting up the equation. What we are given is 200 grams of sodium hydroxide. Next, we have to convert sodium hydroxide into moles. So we take the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. That goes on the bottom so that the grams can cancel out, and one mole goes on the top. Next, we have to do the molar ratio so that we can go into the next compound that we want to find. As you can see from the equation, there are two moles of sodium hydroxide, so that would go on bottom so that they will cancel. There is only one mole of sodium sulfate, so that goes on top. Then, you want to put the molar ratio, I mean the molar mass, of sodium sulfate so that we can find how many grams of sodium sulfate will be formed. When you put this into your calculator, you should get 355 grams because of the significant figures, we only have three numbers. For our next problem, we need to check and make sure this equation is balanced. It is. So now we will read the problem. How many grams of lithium nitrate will be needed to make 250 grams of lithium sulfate? So we have 250 grams of lithium sulfate, so we're going to draw an arrow from lithium sulfate to lithium nitrate. Now for the problem. What we are given is 250 grams of lithium sulfate. Next we have to do the molar mass so that we can, com so that we can change compounds. Then we do the molar ratio so that we have the correct compound that we need. Next we have to get the compound into grams. So we do the molar mass again. When you put this into your calculator, you should get 313 grams of lithium nitrate because we only have three significant figures.